Yeah, welcome to uh, Pokemon. Uh, Koromon. It's not Cor Pokemon, it's Koromon. Legal, for legal reasons, you cannot call it Pokemon. Yeah. So if you wanted to play some Pokemon, but you wanted to play it on your PC, and you got tired of catching Zubats for the 50th time because you played every Pokemon game since release... You and you're not allowed to play Pokemon games on PC because emulation isn't a thing. Exactly. For legal reasons, we cannot say that emulation is a thing. Uh, getting a little distracted here, but yeah, this is Koromon. Koromon is very much like Pokemon... It doesn't do a whole lot of things too differently. I checked it out, and uh, basically it's just more Pokemon. If you want to catch uh, 100 new creatures that someone else made, it, feels like, it kind of feels like someone's Pokemon fan game, but it, it's, it's got its own unique charms. It's Shin Pokemon. Shin Pokemon? Ch Shin, po Shin, Shin po Pokemon. Shin Pokemon. Ah, referencing South Park, I yeah. see. Yeah. So I got some uh, creatures here. I like that they have little animated avatars. That's something new. Yeah, the artwork to this game is look, it just looks great. You know, it does feel like sometimes the Pokemon games have gotten lazy with their 3D models. But uh, the artwork, the sprite work for this game looks really nice. I'm, I'm not going to go on a big old rant about modern Pokemon games other than, other than to say that they really needed to let the Pokemon company actually spend time making... The new ones, it's instead of just being like, no, you have to make a new game every year. Anyway, whatever. Cranking out an annual release. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, moving on. I've gotten to pretty close to the end of the game. I feel like a lot of my monsters are on level 55. The uh, the typing is a lot simpler in this game, because I know uh, in Pokemon games at this point, there's like eight or 18 or 19 different types. And yeah. sometimes it's not very understandable. Like, is Dark good against Fairy versus Psychic against Dragon? Like, it, it's, it's hard to tell. This game pairs it down a lot more, and it's very simple. You know, water's good against fire, mm -hmm. fire's good against ice. The, the simple types are kept over for the most part. All right, well, let me let me start a new game. You want to start a new game? Let me start a new game. Like, I gotta can show you, you do, my. Can you do more than one save? Probably, okay. yeah. But I, I, I'm pretty sure you can, yeah. But I want to show you my team. First, I got Buzzbug here. Okay. And there's Ding Dong, my starter. He's a you know, fire dinosaur. He's like a. Yeah, he's he's, he's fun. He's a fire dinosaur, yeah. We got uh, Freebird. I got Firebird right here. Yeah, look at that guy. He's like a phoenix of some kind. He looks. He looks annoyed. Yeah, he probably is. He looks is. annoyed at you. Yeah. Well, why haven't you played this game in like three weeks? You, you you wanted to play this game to the completion, then you paused to show your friend, and I've just been sitting here waiting. Come on now. Finish the game. Bitty Bolt. Bolt. <laughs> yeah, I think that might actually be the character's name. He's I, fun. I, may, I like him. I may not have renamed him. And uh, I got another fire Pokemon, Blazator. Yeah. Mike likes fire Pokemon. Oh, I got, oh, there you go. So it tells you a Bitty Bolt. That's an Infinix. Uh, that's a Volcadon. Ooh. It's like the typing there, too. Electric, fire. That's another thing. You know, the Pokemon games have bug type. There's no bug type in this game. And they uh, they're just what they're just whatever they're just they bugs, are in yeah. addition to being a bug. Yeah, exactly. And it was it was a problem with the Pokemon games that they introduced bug type and flying type because then every bug they introduced basically had to be bug flying type. Otherwise, yep. it was weird. And then you know, like you had creatures like Beedrill. It's like, what is this? Bug fl bug poison. Does it fly? Yeah. It's not flying type. No. No. It's it's so it's super weak to ground type moves, even though it can fly, huh? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so that, that was always a thing that irked me about the Pokemon games. But anyway, uh, this game has a lot of the same things that carried over. Uh, a few things have been improved. You can change your characters, your your Koromon's four moves just at any time, you know? Mm. So you could... Uh, I know in the later Pokemon games, you can go back to a Poke Center and reprogram old moves into your monsters. But here you can kind of do it whenever you want. And that, that's kind of nice, too. Yeah, in the original ones, you basically, like, once they learn to move... That was it. Like the old move is gone forever. Yeah, it's just always gone unless unless it's like a a TM. Or unless whatever. it's a TM, but then like whatever. Yeah, whatever. yeah. Anyway, yeah. There's uh, no HM slaves or anything in this game. You basically have like a little device on your arm that uh, does things for you. So I got the uh, the glove that lets me do things. So like you know how in the original game there was like a tree in your way, you had to teach a Pokemon cut or something. Yeah. This time you can just set things on fire, you know. Uh, don't burn down trees. Hey, you know there you ah! go. Hey, I found 84 gold for doing that. That was nice. Yeah. Stop destroying nature. I am not gonna fight any wall Koromon today. I'm destroying my path. Yeah. So yeah, little very similar. You know, there's healing centers, there's stores. You got uh, Koromon one-on-one -on -one battles. This game doesn't stray too far from the Pokemon formula. It's just more Pokemon, and that's good enough for some people. Well, we should, we should, I should start a new game <laughs> so that we can see. Oh, I forgot about Guildwing here. Yeah, Guildwing. Yeah. Yeah, we can start a new game just so you can see the first few bits of it. Yeah. 
I'll play like a bit of a of a new game so we can see what it's about so that we can decide whether or not to like recommend it or something. I, I, don't know. I, I already will recommend it. I, th I thought it's been good so far. Like I said, I'm probably yeah, gonna beat people, this game. People need time. to see it though. That, all right, all right. All right. Oh, and there's the uh, Pokedex. Yeah, I don't want to show off too much of it, but yeah, yeah. You see all these different monsters, and oh, there we go. So in the Pokemon games, there was basically the basic monsters, and then there's the super duper rare ones that you mm -hmm. hardly ever saw. This game introduces like a medium rarity, like whenever one out of every hundred monsters, you'll find a, a coloration. So that way, it's not super impossible to see something unique. Mm -hmm. So that's nice. You know, I got. Basic bug, and then there's a somewhat rarer bug, and then there's a super rare bug, which I haven't seen yet. Yeah. So, yeah, if you want to go for all the... So instead of just normal and shiny, there's there's other ones now. Normal and, like, mid-shiny as well. Yeah, a, a third rarity. I thought that was nice. It's a simple little addition, but it, it does help add some replay value to the game, trying to find uh, the, the uh, easier-to-find ones while keeping these super rare ones super rare. I'm sleeping. Wake up, son! It's time for you to go on your new Koromon adventure! No! Be good today at the county fair! I don't wanna. You can't make me. I sleep. You lazy brat, get out of bed! Rise oh, and it's shine. my mom. Rise and shine, honey! Don't you hear your alarm? No! Don't close your eyes again! Go to work at Lux Solis! Oh god, I gotta go to work? You gotta go to work, child! Oh. We make child's labor here. Put on something nice, make a good first impression, or else you get fired, you have to go to the, the child soup line. Ah! Character customization time. Cool, I'm gonna make I'm gonna make me. I get to choose my hair. As no, it, it says to the Bart, the. The <laughs> The Sideshow Bob haircut. <laughs> oh, I can have facial hair. Yes. That's uh, I'm a 14-year-old with facial hair. I'm, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna not have facial hair. You're the biggest, bushiest beard. Mm. He's gonna not have facial hair, that's close to my hair color. Mm -hmm. I can wear a hat. A hat! I can make myself look like red! You a could. frog hat? What the hell kind of hat is that? <laughs> that's a visor. Where's the? Where's my combat helmet? I need a combat helmet. Uh, we got a panda hat. That's, that's kind of close. Da oh. Oh, so you hold down A to walk, but normally you sprint. Isn't that so nice? Running is the default. Which game shall I play? Uh, play Flappy Swirmy. Oh my god. You're playing Flappy Swirmy. Yup. Oh my god, it's Flappy Bird. <laughs> little, little game here in the middle of the game, yup. Ow! <laughs> Alright, one more. 30 minutes later, when you actually started playing the game you came here to play. Okay, fine. We're, all right, fine. We can't get better than 40. <laughs> nobody nobody will ever be able to beat the high score of 40. I am now the all-time master of... Flappy Swirmy. Flappy Swirmy. Oh, it's to change my clothes. Cool. Hey, what's that? Is that a reference to, to a portal right there? I think that is a portal reference. I still remember I won this... The day I won this poster, it was a triumph. It uh, was a triumph. Nice. My weighted companion cube poster. Oh, that's my parents' room. What's in here? I bet it's a gun. Oh, no, it isn't. <laughs> Put a Bible on their desk. Oh, vibrator! Gross! Yeah. No, I'm just, I'm just kidding. This is a kid's game! There's a Bible! And they hollowed it out to hide their vibrator in it. I want to play video games. I broke your flappy, swirmy high score last night. Nobody can beat 40! That's impossible! Haha, <laughs> beaten by your little bro. No, you're lying! You're lying, little brother! Nobody could ever beat 40. Go back to your job at Lux Solace. There's cakes in the oven. Oh, the, oh they're still I cooking. They, I guess they need some more time. No, they're still cooking. Good morning, Zach! You're looking sharp! Thank you! I am sharp! You must be excited you're finally going to be working for Lux Solis as their battle researcher. What? To celebrate your new job, I made your favorite breakfast. We're going to go to... Uh, we're going to your favorite breakfast place. Yay, breakfast! That sounds great! Come on! To breakfast! Dexter, you're not allowed to have breakfast. Stay here and watch my cakes. Uh, that seems kind of mean, but okay. Oh, okay, Mom. Don't burn yourself this time, idiot. Please, the, the house is gonna burn down. It's gonna burn down. It's gonna, one delicious breakfast later. <laughs> Yay. What a community of people, thriving hubbub. Here we are, Zach, at the starting line of your own adventure. Yay. Look at you all grown up and choosing your path in life at 12 years old. I'm a little sad to see you go. You say we're choosing our own life, but you're telling us we're gonna be a battle researcher. I mean, I, you, I chose my own life in that I'm playing this game. Ah, I see. Yeah. You're gonna love this. I know you will. Here comes the train. I, I got something for you. Don't worry about it. Oh boy, I won't have to worry about gold. That's right, it's money. How did you know? Oh, that's a lot of money. It's actually not a lot of money. 
Thanks, mom. That's awesome. I'm gonna take all this money and I'm gonna spend. I'm gonna spend it on drugs. Oh, okay. That's not what I. Glad to hear that, honey. <laughs> oh, look! I can see the train approaching. I'm gonna place you on the tracks. Never mind. Better not. <laughs> you better not. Uh, I wouldn't do the same trick twice. <laughs> we used you used to have two brothers. I'm old enough to take care of myself, so yeah. don't worry. Oh, I thought you were a silent. Get person. on the train. <laughs> Your train's about to depart. Get on it before it leaves the you. No. First, a big hug. Aww, big hug. I, you didn't actually give me a hug, you just gave me a little smiley face emoji. All right, whatever. Goodbye, I'm on the train. Goodbye, dear. There goes my meal Aww. ticket. Well, everybody knows about the bird, about the bird, 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 and the bird is a word. Don't you know about the bird? Well, everybody knows that this train is pulling into the station. The train is super quiet, you can hear the birds. They're making noise. Silent train. Silent train. All right, how do I go join Team Rocket? Ah, right, you gotta find Team Wait, Rocket. Wait, come back! I forgot my luggage! Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> all right, well. Oh, well, time to become a battle researcher or something. I, I forgot guess. all of my Pokemon on the trip. They're not Pokemon. I guess we're not playing Pokemon today. I guess we're playing Koromon. Yeah. I see that you're looking it at looks those. soulless. We offer trainers the opportunity to customize their experience. Those trainers pick the normal difficulty, but selecting a higher difficulty could be worth a challenge. Oh, that's another thing. This game has a nice feature. They uh, they added the ability to do a Nuzlocke run. It's like baked into the game. So oh. if you want to, you can set the difficulty to the hard and basically just do a Nuzlocke run. Neat. Welcome to the Lux Solus Campus. How can I assist you? Hello, my name is Zach. I'm starting out as a battle researcher today. Ah, uh, you want the 24-hour tutorial. You got it. 24 hours? Most trainers use normal. Or you can do hard, which is Nuzlocke. There's also easy if you want. Here, read, read this handbook. Uh, I'm gonna pick normal. Easy! Koromon will restore their health when they level up. No more backtracking! And shop items are half cheaper, so you can stock up quickly. And when one of your Pokemon fades, you don't need to use a special revive item. You can feed it any healing cake! That's kind of convenient. So, uh, normal is probably what you're used to with Pokemon games, but... Uh, you might want to consider I'll easy. I'll do easy. You, you might want to consider easy, because it, it's more of like a convenience thing at this point. Insane! And <laughs> insane difficulty as well. You can't escape from any battle. Real trainers stand up for themselves. And you can only catch one Koromon in each area using their Lux Lure if it faces you out of luck. Goodness. Alright, well, we'll do easy. Okay. But we can also do a custom difficulty too, which is so nice. We do easy. Yeah. No! Ah, bye! <laughs> I've disintegrated. You've been teleported. Hello! Oh, that smell! What's that smell? Somebody farted in my lab! Get the hell out! It's blood! Oh, wait, it's a starry eyed battle researcher. Here to receive their first Koromon! Hold tight while I finish updating the Koromon Connectifier! I did it! That should do it, I'm Nelson, by the way. Hi, Nelson. I see you've opted to take the quick course. You must be excited to start your journey! Yeah! Let's get right to it! Stand in front of the hatches when you're ready! Ready! Here's your options! It. That's the one that Mike picked. It's the, the fire Koromon, Toruga. Very strong, loves to battle, can learn powerful moves. Nibblegari, water type Koromon. Ooh. Has high endurance and is able to outlast most other Koromon. Kind of a tank. That's a bear snowball called Cub Zero. This Koromon is a jack of all trades. Perfect balance between offense and defense. Ooh. Take a closer look and trust your instincts and pick one that you like. <laughs> The With the highest. high endurance Nibblegar, we'll be able to get through even the most dire of situations. Check a summary of him. That's what he looks like. Yeah, that's the little shark with the... He's a cute little shark. Yeah. I like him. Yeah, he's holding on to some kind of coin or something. All right, let's look at this one really quick. Oh, he's cute too. Snowball bear. Oh. <laughs> yeah. And it's like the oh, weapon no. triangle. It's, you know, fire beats ice, ice beats water. I'm going to take the water one. Okay. I wish there was a bird though. Uh, I'm sure you'll find a Pidgey or a Pidgey lookalike or somewhere out there. Give a nickname to him. Nah, his name's Nibblegar. You won't get far with just one. Take this patter bit for extra protection. Ooh, you get more than one. Patter bit, yeah, a free little patter bit. To help you out, we'll provide you with a generous employee starter package. I'm an employee. Data chip. Spinner five. Five spinners and two health cakes. Four health cakes. And, uh, two recalls. Yeah, but it, like, a, a manual. Yeah, a bunch of stuff. All that's left is your first assignment. Teleport you to the R&D lab right now. Wait, hang on. No, I don't want to teleport yet. Too bad. Ah! Wow. Well, uh, hello. <laughs> I'm going to laugh at you. You, you must be... Who are you? Who are you? The new battle researcher, Zach! Uh, yeah, I am. Who are you? 
I knew it, my instincts never fail me, even though I thought that potted plant was you when I, when you came into this room. Which is weird, because the I was talking plant... to the potted plant initially, <laughs> when you came into the room, because I thought the potted plant... Anyway, my name is Larry, and I'll tell you all about the magical world of the gauntlet! It's a world now? Okay. This way, please! Okay. Here we are, the gauntlet module test area! The gauntlet on your arm is a technological masterpiece. Besides carrying your core robot, it can do so much more. It's the multi-tool for Luxolus employees. The Gauntlet's modular design enables the user to install new functionality on the go. Let me give you a quick tour of some of our research. We used to have uh, HM Slave Coromon, but now we don't have to do that anymore because the Gauntlet does everything. My colleague here, Velma, is calibrating the push module. She's optimizing the power so it outputs at 100% capability. Looks cool, huh? Keep it up, Velma. Percy over there is developing a brand new module on his own. Let's say hi. Let's distract him while he's working. Hopefully that won't cause an accident. Percy, my man! Can you explain what you're working on for our new colleague? Yeah, okay. Now, is the new battle researcher taking interest in my project? No, I haven't. Oh, you are? Oh, it's quite simple, you see. I started by combining a spark plug together with flammable gas to create a combustion that's... It's a flamethrower. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. That's way too tactical. Can you demonstrate it instead? Stand back, please. I wouldn't want you to get in trouble. Oh, it's a fire glove. Fire glove. Woo. I said, stand back. Whoa, be careful, you pyromaniac. Who oh, you call it pyromaniac? I'll burn you all for saying that. Next time. I'll get you next time. Larry. Zach. It's me. Rigel. Larry, I need to borrow Zach for a bit. Oh, Peter, it's me, Rigel. <laughs> there are some important matters we need to go over. Uh, so Zach the one, Zach is the one you told me about earlier. That's him right there. Yeah, you can borrow my protege. <laughs> oh, great. What an ego. As well as with most matter in life, the stink module can wait. You've been developing that one on your own, I see. You're doing a pretty good job of that on your own. <laughs> I'll be hanging out by the bridge in Radiant Park. I'll be hanging out under the bridge. Come meet me <laughs> under the bridge. We're going to throw eggs at things. I'll bring the spray paint. We can do some graffiti. It's nice to finally meet you, Zach. I'm Rigel, head of R&D Lab. Let me explain everything in the privacy of our restricted access area. Come with me. Because of possible radiation exposure, we require everyone to wear a lab coat inside. Le lab coats? Uh, okay. It's lead-lined. <laughs> oh, all right, excellent. Your face is gonna get irradiated, Wow, though. it's heavy! And also these glasses. I'm a nerd. You are I a nerd. Follow me. I am a nerd! Don't worry, my wheelchair will protect us both. <laughs> Got some oil? Whoa! Welcome to the restricted access area. Pretty impressive, huh? That's a nice orb! What is this floating thing in front of me? Oh, it, it almost exploded. It's an orb, like you said. This is what our task force is all about. Mm -hmm. It's called Titan Essence. This is the plot of the game. You know, there's Titans oh, out there. Oh, this is, this is the MacGuffin. Kind of. There's a lot of Titan stuff out there. You basically gotta go collect Titan so, stuff. So what does this MacGuffin do? Does it, does it crystallize things or does it make them giant? Haven't been in the game yet. Wait, you want me to join the Titan Task Force? Uh, yeah, we do. Oh my god, I've wanted to do that ever since I was a little kid, which ever, I still am. Ever since you heard about it five minutes ago? Yeah. Anyway, these Titan Essences will slowly disintegrate without the right containment device. Cool. Recently, we made a massive breakthrough in our research. We developed a gauntlet module called Titan Essence or something like that. So, do you want me to go into the zone and bring you back a full empty? What? Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't watch movies. I don't get that reference. It's a reference to the book Roadside Picnic. I don't read. Which Stalker is based off of. Okay. Anyway, you're going to have the Essence Collector. you got to go around and gather Titan Essences. That would be an honor. Where can I find these Titan Essences? Come on, I'll show you. Follow me. Oh, hey, Rigel, is that the new, is that the new unpaid intern? <laughs> the Titan Essence in this lab was embedded within an elemental Titan on Donner Island. Basically, go find super powerful Koromon out there, rip the Titan Essence out of them. That seems mean, but okay. Yeah, there's like six of them out there. You can probably find them all. I'll do my best. Basically, six boss fights. Yeah, so th this is uh, another thing that Koromon does, that the Pokemon doesn't, is that they have like small boss fights, which are, uh... Kind of tough, and actually do require to use, like, your entire team to fight them, essentially. The Bender of Storms, Voltgar! Do you see Donar Island to the southeast on the map? No, That's which where you're one going. is that? It's is over it there. Is it that one? Is it that is, one? Is your southeast. Is it, which, which one? One of these. Well, I don't know which direction is southeast. Be what direction is north right now? I don't have a compass. In the Power Tower, Voltgar bends the weather and gives, guides Thunderstorm toward the island. Power Tower! Before you can use the Essence Collector module, you need to get... We need to get it installed. It's a precise task. Go to Velva and do that. Talk to Perrin, he'll do it. He's a blacksmith in Hayville. Uh, Perrin the blacksmith in Hayville. Yeah, Got he know, it. He knows, I, he knows about hay and he knows about gauntlets. 
feel like a blacksmith. You know, no, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not going to, I'm not gonna besmirch the good name of blacksmiths like that. I was about to say, I'm not sure if blacksmith is the person to do precise work. But he is. But I, I, I'm not saying that blacksmiths aren't precise. What do you think blacksmiths do in this day and age without horses, huh? Uh, then why don't you call them computer engineers? It's, it's tradition. It's just tradition. Oh, okay, okay. I'll call you if anything comes up. Do it. Uh, I want to change my clothes. I don't like how I look right now. Let's see what this thing is. The patter bit. Patter bit. It's a weird yeah. looking little spider thing. All yeah. right. There. I, I will wear the lab coat so everyone knows that I am a scientist. And I am a lab. They can beat me up for money. <laughs> the golden that, gullet up there. It was weird. That's what happens to scientists, right? They get beat. They get beaten up for money. Probably. All right. Let's go catch this ourselves. A. Fisherman. Good morning, nice day for fishing, ain't it? Yeah. The river's a perfect place to catch some water, Koromon. Cool. Only had a fishing pole or something. I don't have one. You can have There's one! It's mine. I found one! What is it? It's, it's our motto. It's an armadurillo. Chomp, indeed. And then it's concentrate. Oh, it's focusing its energy. Building up power. Critical hit chance increased. Oh no, oh I'm no. I'm gonna chomp him again. Yep, that's that's pretty much how you're gonna play uh, this Coromon game. Is uh, exactly like how you played the. Uh, and the he's he's spending so much time increasing his critical hit. He's never actually gonna launch an attack. He's gonna die before he can. Oh, here comes Scratch. Nibagara is fully rested. He's still. Oh, he took it. He took it like a champ. It's a, it was a critical hit, yeah. but it, it's fun. Yeah, but Nibagara uh, has. Hey, I'm gonna use this thing. Just try and catch the Armado. Yeah. I, I think Nibblegar's special ability allows it to withstand attacks better if it's got full health. Down but. in A. Down in A. Hey, it worked! They caught the R motto immediately. He's and vaccinated. It's vaccinated. Good. COVID, whatever year this is, is very deadly. Uh, yes. I want to see about this this little beastie beast. He's got three health, and you can immediately add him to your party. Even if you have six monsters, you can immediately add him to your party and kick somebody out. Send Neat. Him, send him to your PC, essentially. Ooh. So yeah, he's, he's va that's his special ability. His passive is he's vaccinated, so he he's immune to poison. Uh, I'm glad that the catch and release program is working well for this. Uh, yeah, we'll keep him. I want to nickname him. Uh, nah, that's okay. Our motto joined your squad. Yeah. Yay! We caught our first monster. Monster. Coromon. Yeah. Cor. I, I I just keep wanting to call them Pokemon. I know. I know. All right, let's catch another one. Yeah. Let's get, like I said, this game doesn't stray too much from the Pokemon formula. And that, that could be a good thing or a bad thing. Ooh, bird! It's Silquill! I like Silquill. Go. We're catching a Silquill. Fight! Yeah, see, Chomp. You, got, you got three health. He's got three. He's level three. You can probably get him pretty easily. I'm assuming you have to get them weak before you can... Yeah, you can throw spinners at him if you want, but that's not going to work unless they're weakened. I want bird! You threw a spinner at the bird. Down an A! Down an A. It's, I pressed down an A. Is it working? It's, wor it's working. It worked. You got a Silquill now. He knows tactical retreat, apparently. What's tactical retreat do? Uh, we'll, we'll see at the very end. Where is, uh, it says what his data is. Claw. Does. So it's got, it, it show, also shows you like a brief glimpse into its evolutionary line. So you know it's got two evolutions. Yep. And when he retreats to its spinner, it restores 25% of its HP. Oh, nice. So you can keep on swapping them in and out of battle. So the book actually tells you the type, yeah, the, the type manual. So this game has types just like mm -hmm. Pokemon, but they're, they're, it's pretty similar. You know, a lot of the types you would expect do the th things you would expect. Like fire is good against ice. Water is good against fire. Uh, there are some little things changed around a bit, but you can see that the, the number of types there are is a lot smaller. So we got normal, which does two times damage to nothing. 0.5 damage from ghost. Ghost. So just 0.5 like damage to ghost. And takes two damage Double from poison. Double damage from poison, yeah. Electric, which does two damage to water. 0.5 damage to electric and water. That's kind of nice that it has, like, it does double damage to some enemies, but then does normal damage, or, like... Half damage to some, normal damage yeah. to some. Also, something else that this game does differently is that there are no... if There, there are no types that are immune to damage. So electric against ground still does damage. Still does damage, just not as much. Not, not great, yeah. Sand... Fire, ice, water, magic. So yeah, the first seven types are like creature types. Like they mm -hmm. could have, they, they could, you could have ice Koromon, you could have fire Koromon. But then the, these later types, like there aren't any poison monsters. There's, there's no poison type monsters out there. There are just monsters that have poison moves and mm. monsters that have cut type moves. That's very 
That seems that seems much more like well rounded and balanced. I thought so too. Like when you think of Pokemon, they really struggle to come up with like dragon moves that made any sense. Zach, so the rumors they're true. The new Titan Task Force member, uh, it's you, isn't it? I'm so happy for you. Let's celebrate with some stink module training. Oh, we're gonna teach you how to stink. Oh no. You don't like today? Well, I'll bet you love what it can do. <laughs> Normally, this patch of grass over here is full of hug battle hungry wild Coromon. With a stink module, just one zap and boom, all the Coromon go scampering off into the unknown. So if you want, you have repel at the drop of a hat. Here, well, you seem like the type of learned by experience. Let me install the stink module on your gauntlet. Stink. And now your gauntlet smells. So you're standing in the grass patch when using the stick module, otherwise it won't activate. Now give it a go, hold your nose and use a secondary action button to stick away to your heart's content. And now you smell bad. Excellent, notice the blinking effect on the grass? That means you're free to wander through this bush without the threat of wild Coromon. In just five minutes, the module is recharged, ready to be used again. If it useful, isn't it? Sure is. I mean, it, it, I just farted, but. Well, it's all for today. I'll be in contact with new modules to finish. Have a nice night and enjoy the tranquility of Hayville. Bye. And then they teleport away. So yeah, now you have the ability to walk around and also disable wild battles one grass patch at a time. 500 gold. Old. Someone just left 500 gold lying around. Another Armado. All right, Armado, get ready to be clawed. Using a, a puncture type attack against our motto, but I'm sure our motto has a lot of defense. Oh. So it might be difficult. But that's the only move Seal Quill knows, because Seal Quill is level three. Well, he's got to learn more moves. It's using Scratch. Oh boy. Uh, you get, you got yeah, blinky. we're going we're gonna to switch. Yeah, we're not, you got Blinky Hell. You got to swap you out. Get some rest, Seal Quill. We're going to send somebody more competent out there. And yep, you did some tactical retreat. Somebody's so more competent. He just can absorb a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage! Chomp. Got him. So yeah, if you had like a water monster in your team, you could probably send the water monster out and do a special water attack. It didn't have a lot of special defense, I don't think, but it definitely has a lot of uh, tanky armor. Greetings, young traveler, it's me, Park Ranger Cornell. <laughs> I'm the traveler of Radiant Park. Grand Ranger, I'm the Ranger of Radiant Park. Ah. If you follow the path north, you'll reach Hayville. Be careful with entering the, the grass, though. There's wild Coromon in there. Also the glass. <laughs> I was drinking. I broke a bottle over there. Here, take these cakes. They'll help you get to Hayville more easily. He kind of sounds like the scientist. So now that I think about it, Park <laughs> Ranger Zack kind of sounds like the scientist. Maybe. Here's two cakes. Don't eat them yourself, though. They'll, they'll make you real sick. Oh, they're bitter and chalky like a vitamin. But Coromon love it because they're weird. And then we ran up here, ran around you. You don't seem to be doing much of anything. You want to talk? You're... Nope. nope. Oh, wild battle, wild battle. Battle. Oh, oh, it's a swirmy slithers. Swirmy. Time for the crow to eat a bug. Oh. Swirmy is using slam. Oh my God. That, bur that bug's gonna kill our bird. Get some rest, Silquill. Heal up a little bit, will ya? I'm starting to think Silquill might not be that good. <laughs> not until you level him up, no. Wait, what's this move? Mighty Roar. I use it. Oh, he's scared. He's scared now. Attack goes down, but it's using rage, so it attacks goes up. Kind of negated that turn. Well, bite I him. bite him then. Bite him until he's dead. Get him. Slam. Critical hit. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Quickly, we must catch him. Oh, there's an idea. This is a powerful swirmy. Oh. I didn't press down B. I didn't press down B. You didn't press down B. Press down A. Swirmy broke out. Here, we'll, 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 do, we'll press down A this time. Okay, you got two spinners left. Better make him count. Down A. Yes. Maybe. Eh. You got see, it. it's because I pressed down A. I see. Oh, he's a strategist. Oh. I have many plans. Getting caught was not one of them. <laughs> you can evolve twice. You find it in Radiant Park on today. You can slam and he rages. And he's that color. He isn't holding anything. And when he... When he moves later than its target, as when the other Coromon goes first, this one strategically finds weak spots and attacks with one stage increased critical hit chance. Ooh. Oh. Yeah, we'll keep squirmy. And they all gained experience. Oh, yeah. Silkwill. Oh, so here's Ooh. another thing they do. So, you know, Ooh. in Pokemon, you had secret EVs you couldn't really control. Yeah. But in this game, you can choose which stats you want to slightly boost every time their potential goes up. Mm. 
Yeah, just a few points here and there, wherever you want to put them. Three so points. We'll put, we'll, we'll put two points into attack and one into HP. That wouldn't be a bad idea. Oh, I probably should have put it in defense, but whatever. Ah, whatever. So yeah, like hey. I've been saying, hey. The world map says I can find a tattle here, but no success so far. Do you have a towel? I don't. Too bad, I wanted to see one in action. Sorry. I would have given you money if you Wait, had- Wait, were you gonna fight me? Maybe. Well, uh, there's Wormy. Uh, not good, not good! Silkwill, you're uh, you're sucking a little bit. You're up, Hatter built. Get slammed, nerd. He's got like a little helicopter thing. He's got a helicopter bug. Feelers and slam. I don't know what feelers does. Use feelers. Ugh, that's weird. Found a weak spot. Oh, uh, I don't think I like that move. <laughs> that move makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> you don't like the tentacles swarming over Swimmy? Level up, everyone got experience, yay. Yay. Level four. Yay. Yay, hooray for Silkwill. Pocket sand, oh my god, pocket <laughs> sand. Drop some leftover sand in the target's face. That's <laughs> yeah. amazing. I. Who learned pocket sand? Because now Your I bird can... did. Oh yes, silk will. I like pocket the... sand. I like to. I like this. The game calling it pocket sand. <laughs> I like that they call it pocket sand. Mm -hmm. Where's his moves? There. Oh my god, yes. So we're at 15 HP and 15 SP. Neat. I, oh yeah, that's so. As I was saying, this game is very much like Pokemon. They don't do too many things different. Mm -hmm. But they, when they do make changes, it's usually. For the better. So another small change they made is uh, SP. You know how in Pokemon each of your moves each has move a has its own yeah. bank of SP. But in this game, so you see their red health bar, of course. Yeah. They also have their purple MP, essentially their 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 magic pool, so their move pool. They have one. They have one pool that they draw all of their moves from, exactly. and certain moves cost more than others. Yeah. The, the stronger the move, the more it depletes that. So you can do like a really powerful attack, then you'll have to wait a turn to recover. Re re recompile your purple magic stuff like that. So mm -hmm. yeah, it, it, it's nice. It's nice that you uh, and also in battle, if you run out of MP, you, you just wait a turn and you get your you get some MP back. Nice. That so, seems very effective. Yeah, a, ni a nice step in the right direction with that. Basically, all the improvements the Pokemon game should have been doing, this game does. I just started out on a battle researcher. Want, want to help you complete some milestones? Uh, let's, yeah, sure. Let's battle. Oh, our first Koromon trainer battle. I have more Pokemon than you. That means I'm going to win. Oh. They're sending out a Silquill. Same level. Pocket Sand! It's using Claw, though. Eh. Pocket Sand. Their accuracy has gone down. Now you have the upper hand, perhaps. No, I do. And I will use this move. Stop clawing me. Claw you back. We're just going to keep taking turns, clawing at each other. Hopefully their uh, their Silquill misses. Ooh, critical hit, guys. Yeah! And see, now I can do it one more time and I will win. I get that pocket sand oh. did not help as much as we were hoping it would. Ah, I really hope the pocket sand was gonna oh. do it. All right, it's fine. It's fine. That works. First one down. Bunch of experience. Level yeah, up. and you leveled again. Oh boy, look at that. Look at all them levels. And a half, half a level. Nice. And now here comes Toruga. Oh wait, I have the, I have the solution to this. We have the counterpoint to Toruga. I don't have any water moves, but oh. counterpoint. Uh, I use a, a big old chomp. I'm just gonna keep on biting you over and over. It's a very simple way to do things. Bite, 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 bite. Come on, how could you not like that fire turtle over there? Look how cute he looks. I mean, he is very cute. He's just all bouncy. He's gonna die, but I mean, he's cute. He's cute. He's not gonna die. He's just he's gonna, gonna faint. Be, he's gonna be rendered unable to move. Also, I roared at him. You, oh, you, you took a turn to roar at him. Sure. Oh, I probably should have healed. Whoops. Slam. Uh, maybe. You yeah, fed a cake to Nibblegar. Nibblegar's restored all of his health. I'm sure the uh, opposing trainer is kind of annoyed by that. Me when I heal. Oh, thank God I needed that. The uh, Me when the other player heals their Pokemon. What are you doing? <laughs> Come on. You're just prolonging the inevitable. It used cute pose. Your defense oh. increased. Oh. Not that it matters because... It is pretty cute. It used a Jumba Fruit. It healed itself. Ah! It liked the fruit so much it got more health back. Ah! <laughs> You jerk! And now it's back to full health, yay! You're not supposed to win, game! You're supposed to let me win! Slam. Oh, oh crap! Oh, you got critted. Oh, no. Ah! All right, fine. It's time for That's the bird. The bird, the bird. It's time for bird. Pocket sand. Oh, hold on. Okay, no, not pocket sand. Pocket sand! Accuracy goes down. 
And see, there he goes. He had to restore his SP because he, he used too many of his SP moves. Claw. And Claw. he missed. He missed, but you didn't. I win. Torugo faded. And y'all leveled up. Even Nibblegar, who was unconscious, got experience. Silquil level six. Yay. Yay. Ooh, we learned fast strike. Quick attack. And Nibblegar is level six. Bubble Ooh, we learned burst. Bubble burst. Nice. Yeah. And I got a milestone. Shoot, I was just one victory away from completing the duelist milestone. <laughs> well, too bad. Now I have it. And your money, which we've robbed you for. I'll tell you, I'll tell you what, I'll take a dive for uh, a couple thousand. <laughs> You're probably pretty close to the uh, base, though. Also, that's the SP king. That H health. You're out of health. Oh, king. well, he he's leveled anyway. Or when he leveled, he regained all his health and oh, stopped fainting. Oh, that's painting. right. I forgot about that. Yes. Bug. Hey, Bill. Hello there. I'm looking for a Mino. If you can find one for me, I'll trade my Buzzy for it. It's not potent, but my Buzzy has great potential anyway. Neat. So that's a new quest added. Find a Mino. Hey, look. A, a soccer field. It's a very small soccer field. What's this? And there's the health station. Welcome to the local trainer hub. Can I, can I take care of your Koromon? Yes. All right, one moment, please. Fade to black. They're all healthy and, happy and healthy. Yay! And if you want, you can buy more health cakes over there. They feel great. Just shove cake in their face. You've got 3,000 bucks. Just buy as many cakes as you want. Oh, yeah, I'll buy I'll buy a couple of these. Those we'll buy six. Cakes have been in there for a long, long time. No one restocks that vending machine. Ice cake. You get... Burn cure, haziness cure. Burn, curse, freeze, haziness, poison, shock, and uh, a Drowsy. sleepy sleep. Yes. Oh, spinners. You're going to need more of those too, yes. So yeah, just like in Pokemon, your Koromon can hold items to heal themselves in battle. Swir. Slither pin. Sliv. Bug. Bug noise. Swear me. Ooh, look, a gold one of the swirmies. Oh, it's a very rare swirmy, yes. A potent swirmy, as they were. These Koromon look so happy, walking around freely in the field. I would never dare to put them in spinners. I mean, how would they even fit? Ha 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 ha, we're gonna go do that. Maybe not to any of these ones. I'm guessing this is the blacksmith shop. Probably, which is where we needed to go, so here we are. Door. Where are they? There's the blacksmith teddy bear. That's not what we're looking for. Wait, maybe the teddy bear is a blacksmith. Karen, my sister, I found out it was you who filed the complaint against my spinners having a fatal flaw. <laughs> what? Wh what? I know we've had our differences since childhood, but I like to talk this through at uh, the last letter scratched off. Mm. That's kind of foreboding mm. that the spinners have a fatal flaw. Yeah. We're, if he gives us any spinners, we'll have to remember not to use those. Oh, wait, there was a box. Yeah, but it might have, might have had defective spinners in it, so maybe we didn't want that. We found a spinner! Oh crap, it's, Yay! One of, it's one of his spinners though. Oh no. And they're mixed up with our re regular spinners now too. Oh, no. Great. <laughs> oh well. All right, so I've, there's no one here, very well. Maybe they were just speaking like metaphorically about it having a fatal flaw. I'm robbing his dresser. I found fruit in his kitchen. I found fruit in his kitchen sink. What you guys doing over here? Having fun? Hello. A beasel, where? Uh, right there. Very clearly right beasel, there. Beasel, beasel. beasel. Oh, I'm fighting it. Beetle, beetle. Oh my, that's intimidating. Uh, okay. Hopefully one of your monsters... Oh, it's level 8. I don't know. Oh, I didn't mean to do this. Might uh, be a bit of a challenge. Quickly, uh, pocket sand. It's using venomous bees on you. Ah, why does it also have bees? Critical hit. It's a bee that used bees on you. Eh, sand. Sand in your eyes. Eh. And then also use the fast strike. Fast strike. And then it used slam, and then you died. Oh, crap. Okay, one down, but you've got plenty more in your back pocket. Nibblegar, you're our tank. You can do anything. Yeah, you can do it, Nibblegar. Use Bubble Burst. Nibblegar is ready to soak damage. Ah, uh, soak damage. Get it, because there's one time. It, it, oh. I'm, I'm disappointed that it, I just now got that. Uh, <laughs> I just... Yeah. Chomp. Oh, it's using more venomous bees on you. But it is a bee. It's a bee that has... It's summoned more bees. It's swarming. I mean, I guess if it's a Coromon, but there's also bees in this world. Yeah. Which would explain, like, how, Things you know, like, the, what, the, like, people eat meat. It's like, are they eating Pokemon? Uh-oh. Like how Pidgey eats regular worms in the first episode of Pokemon, yeah. I feel like Nibblegar... Yeah, <laughs> it's fainted. Yep. Uh, yep, there he okay. goes. But he got bees down to five points of health, so we should be good. 
Uh, Swermy, you can do it. I, I believe in you, Swermy. Take on the Even beasel. though this is literally the first time I've used you in fight. Uh, a fight. Slam him after he slams you to death. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, got one shot, Swermy. I did not see that coming. I'm a bad strategist. We might, we might be screwed. <laughs> Maybe. Scratch. It's using slam again, but you got so much tankiness. Never mind, you're critically hit. No, no, no. Our motto has fainted. Okay, yeah, we might be in trouble. You're right, Patterbit. All right, Patterbit, you can do it. I believe in you. Slam him. Venomous bees are dawning upon you. Okay, you withstood that. It's very effective. Poison is super effective against you. Oh come on! One point of health. You can get him. You can get him. I believe in you. Ah. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Oh, I probably should have tried to catch him. Everyone got experience. Woo! Yeah, actually, now that I think about it, maybe I should have tried to catch him. Oh, you should have, yeah. Whoops. But our motto leveled up is a potential. That's Here, good. You can, have, you can have some HP and some defense yeah. and some more defense. And if someone uses a special attack on you, you're kind of screwed. Swermy leveled up to... Swermy unlocks a potential. Yes, Ooh, Swermy. Swermy gets more HP and he gets defense and special defense. Okay. Me! Hey, are you the blacksmith? Thanks for that. I thought it was a goner. I was just working on this here fence and suddenly that beasel snuck up on me. I didn't hear him. He was going beasel, beasel. I was like, what was that? Why didn't you catch it? <laughs> anyway, thanks for helping me out. <laughs> Glad I could help. Since you were working on the fence, are you by any chance the blacksmith, Perrin? A, you're also the fence smith. The one and only. There's no better back, blacksmith around. Not a good wordsmith, though. Uh, my name's Zach. I was set by Rigel on the fence. Nice, you. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> ah, to have an essence collector installed, I presume, right? You, 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 you changed your voice. Let's get right to installing that essence collector, yeah? Come on, let's go to my workshop. Follow me. He said, let's go to me workshop. Me workshop. <laughs> Here we are. Welcome to me workshop. Yara, welcome to me workshop, Zachary. <laughs> Wow, from the looks of this workshop, you must be quite busy. I sure am. I've been making faulty spinners all day and night for the last few weeks. In addition to your voice changing all the time. I'm still trying to settle on what I like. I am one of the few people working on Lux, working for Lux Solos that are skilled enough to make spinners. I've been working hard. Perhaps I can help you with your gauntlet. I'm quite familiar with technology, so it shouldn't take long to install a module. Hell yeah, do it up, man. Here's my gauntlet and the module. He just immediately breaks it. Whoops! <laughs> <laughs> not a very good blacksmith either. Thank you. And by the way, you can use my spare gauntlet in the meantime. Here you go. It's Thank faulty you. too. It's all defective. Better get to it then. Well, why I work on your gauntlet? Go visit the library and you know learn tutorial stuff. Pick up some handbooks there. Talk to my little brother. He's a real bookworm, that fella. So you'll you'll he'll tell you where to find more books. Read them all. Read every book in the library. I'll That's going to take me a long time, but okay, I'll go check out the library. Get started right now. Time for me to start blacksmithing. and starts pounding on your gauntlet with his hit. <laughs> oh, okay, he literally does. I'm fixing your gauntlet. Stay away from me, defective spinners. Yeah, take a, don't take any of me, defective spinners. They'll explode. That's the fatal flies. They're actually fragmentation grenades. <laughs> So how you liking Koromon from what you've seen so far? This seems pretty fun. Uh, I I feel like if you want a uh, if you want a Pokemon game that is, oh man, I'm never gonna read all these books. There's too many books here. These books are too spooky for me. <laughs> yep, you're in the haunted section. Too spooky for me. Too many spooky books. Oh, fantasy. I like these books. I don't like fantasy books. I love fantasy. Your character likes fantasy, apparently. Well, he don't, my character doesn't stinky scent. My character doesn't speak for me. Gardening! I'm studying hard so I can join Lux Solos and become a strong trainer, but the books Marin gave me were too complex. I'm looking for a beginner's handbook, but I can't find it. Let me know if you find it. Quest started, find it. Cool. Yeah, this seems like a neat game if you're looking for uh if you're looking to scratch that OG Pokemon itch. Coromon Farm 2084, the orange oh good. So it's it's 1984. Animal, Animal Farm, Farm 1984 and a clockwork orange. Yep. <laughs> Fun references. Very mature references, actually. Detectives? I think the butler did it. This seems like a really fun game if you're looking for something that's going to scratch that uh, that OG Pokemon itch. Yeah, it's um, great. How much was this game? I don't remember. They're pretty cheap, I think. Uh, current is it, time. Is it is... the actual time? Yeah, it is. Oh, wow. <laughs> cool. 
I found Coromon Basics. Hey, let's go give them their book. Okay. You, you just found the I was going to talk to that guy, but you know what? I don't want to do that quest. I want to give this book to this person over here. That's yeah, let's go quest. give them their book. Yeah, they wanted the book. We're going to give them the book. Oh, you found the handbook. You lost the book. Thanks so much. I'll start studying right away. Here, take this as a reward. I'm not going to be able to use this for a while anyway. Some, I found oaky fruit. Some peppers. Bell peppers. Some dip fruit. Ooh. Great. Your Pokemon can now dip. Get some nicotine. Oh, boy. Take this can of skull. <laughs> And this dip bottle half filled for your uh, Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this seems like a neat game. It, it seems pretty. My guy, you got a book on. Are you practicing to be a desk? Why do you carry a book on your head? No, oh, what do you mean? Only the smartest person in town is allowed to wear this awesome hat. I see you glancing at it. Do you think you should be the one to wear it? Uh, no, but I do think it would look good on me. Well, you'd have to defeat me first, but that can't happen because I'm the smartest person around. Mm, I'll show you by challenging you to a battle. But not a Koromon battle, no. No. A battle of wits. We'll find out who's the most knowledgeable. What do you say? Hell yeah, I'm smart as heck, man. Okay, Dude. let's see if that's true. A traitor challenges you to a battle. What do you do? I uh, run away. Do you? So close, but that's not correct. Why don't you read some books and then come back and try again? I'm so disappointed in everything. Yeah, so po Koromon is- Wow, I just watched you lose. That was really pathetic. <laughs> that was, lost the first question, huh, loser? <laughs> Jebediah, cha would Jebediah challenge me to a duel of wits? Lucy, you know I'm not ready to be a trainer yet. I think Jebediah is the one that's stupid. Though. I bet you can't actually pass his quiz the first try, though. It's not as easy as you might think. Well, I already didn't pass it on the first try. <laughs> I mean the first serious try. All right, let's 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 actually try. Let's go. Here we go. How many species of Koromon are known to exist in Veluva? 890, no, 898. So close, but no. Oh my God, fine. The speed set of a Koromon determines its critical hit chance. That's totally true. Nope, what? you're an idiot. What? That's, it's so tiny. But what is it? It's a microscope. It's your brain, Jebediah. Ouch. Your brain is so tiny. Ouch. That's why I'm able to stack a book on it. I am the one wearing the scientist's uniform. Yeah, so I don't know this game is going to actually, like, replace Pokemon in the hearts of fans or anything. Oh, no, it definitely isn't, but it's nice to have alternatives. Yeah, this game... What it lacks in Pikachus and Meowths, it makes up for in actually having some slight technological innovations and actually having some really nice artwork. Having some changes that Pokemon fans have probably been asking for. I don't know because I'm not a serious Pokemon fan. I've played a couple of Pokemon games recently and they're they're kind of a slog to get through. The last one I played was Sword and Shield. Yeah, I played that one. The plot to that one was pretty bad. It was kind of grating. Didn't much care for it. Yeah. Minor nitpick, I don't like the Pokemon games, the, the your rival is now like your best friend. Yeah. I miss when your rival was just like a dick that said, smell you later. Yeah, why can't you have more than one rival too? You yeah, know? why can't there be more than one rival? Why can't I join Team Rocket? Why hasn't Team Rocket been in any more games? That's because they disbanded the mob. They actually took Giovanni down for, uh, the, <laughs> they, 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 got, they, they got, got him for tax evasion. They got him on the Rico Act. 